Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in once again, ready and raring to go for another win, hopefully. We got Maggie once again. We do like Maggie. Maggie's a really basic character, but she can have some fun, especially if you get an early sack room. That's, that's where the real fun begins. So we're going to hope that we get that um, and see what we can find. But yeah, uh, happy to be playing some Isaac once again. By the way, I've seen a few requests for people wondering where the Isaacle has gone. And to be honest, I just kind of forgot. <laughs> I just, I came back from a holiday and I just kind of forgot. So with the Isaacle, what I think I might do is it might be a part of the new save file series and not the streak or the other way around. It depends what people would rather see. Um, so do let me know if you guys are a fan of the Isaacle and would like to see it come back. Um, I am more than willing to make it a regular part of the series. I do thoroughly enjoy it um, was having a good time with it. So I can definitely bring it back if people want to see it. Um, I was kind of just doing it as kind of a test run anyways. It does look like we're probably not going to get a sack room here considering we have a cash room. Normally you don't get both of those on the same floor. Although I think it is I think it is possible. I think it's just unlikely. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, uh, we'll see what the game decides to throw our way. I am probably going to take a sack room at some point in this game, regardless. If we get one on the next floor, I'd definitely be down for one, because with the full health pill, obviously you can use it for safety, but <laughs> we ain't about that. Anyways, what boss are we going for? I didn't actually check. One moment. We're going for the lamb again this time around, apparently, so that's our main goal here, is going for the lamb. That troll bomb was rather nice. Good, good, good. And we get ourselves a hanged man, which right now... Doesn't uh, doesn't hold a lot of weight, but in the future it might. Of course, I'd rather take the full health pill with me, so I'm going to keep an eye on that rather than this card. But uh, it's good to have it for this floor. There's plenty of reasons, a secret room and otherwise, why we might want a hanged man on this floor. I mean, secret room item across a gap, that's a classic. That's an absolute classic that this game likes to throw at us to, uh, to really make us angry. So we have something to... Get rid of that anger. <laughs> Get rid of that frustration. I've spent my morning this morning testing out some tr some stream settings for work. We got a new little uh, Wi-Fi router thing. Ooh, boy. That's a very, very good item right there. I'll probably take that. Um, Yum Heart is obviously a lot of safety, but Hedonist Cookbook is goddamn amazing. Um, so, first things first, let's try and find Secret Room. I'm fairly certain in it being up from here fairly certain beautiful stuff does not require flight i'll go in here and see what our triple pill is it's puberty that's good stuff puberty. it's very rare that you get uh the triple puberty we're looking a bit odd but we don't mind that and i guess we'll just use the hanged man for a cheaper entry into here not that it really matters Good for you, sir. Good for you. Puberty again. Puberty. Double black hearts. Do that. Okay. I'm reasonably, reasonably happy. We'll take our full health pill. Would probably still play a sack room if one is uh, given to us on the next floor. And we're definitely going to take the Hedonist Cookbook here. Um, it's just very good. As a two room charge active, it's very good. Basically, all enemies of the same health are instantly killed on the room. Makes for a really easy time. It also creates a little spurter of um, of shots when you do that. Right, you kill those for me, thank you. We've got no reason to use the cookbook right now. If he spawns three of these enemies, then I will spawn one. Uh, I will use it, sorry. Uh, but for right now, we don't really have the need. Oh, there you go, I'll do it. Maybe get some extra damage out of those shots there. That was a really bad hit. But puberty, really nice to get that on the first floor. I don't think I've ever actually had that happen to me before. What a what a beautiful question of the day this leads into. How was your puberty? <laughs> Such how it is. <laughs> uh, God damn. I didn't actually find it that bad. People people speak about how how hard it is. And I like I'm not saying that it's not, and obviously. It's definitely potentially harder for, um, for, for, for women, for obvious reasons. Um, but I, I really didn't have that hard of a time. Hypno ring, of course, really good here. Leaving that burn heart for if we get a red heart around. We do have a sack room. Uh, of course, I'd rather 
uh, go to Devil Deal and see if we can find some soul hearts and stuff first. Um, you see, unfortunately, the enemies do have to be on screen for it to work. So it's not always going to get them all. But yeah, overall, very, very good item. And it doesn't work on champions as well, because even if it's the same enemy type, the champion has more health. Um, what do we want you to break? Probably this here. Try not to get hit by you, because you are a champion, but at the same time... Do you know what? I've kind of got an idea, actually. Get, get yourself back over here, lad. There you go. That'll work out fine. Another pill. I'm not too interested in pills. I'll take it. Why not? Just a bit of relax. We don't mind that. Wasn't great, but there you go. Yeah, so rooms like this are pretty pointless to use it in. Even this cookbook you want to use in rooms that have lots of the same enemy, which is most rooms, to be fair. It is most rooms. Didn't really comment on the fact that we got a uh, ball of bandages here. Not particularly good. Again, four, four of the different types of enemies here. Not ideal. We are really liking Hypno Ring here. It allows you to decommission some enemies for the rest of the room. Uh, or, on the opposite end of it, you can um, health up. Lovely. Or on the other end of it, you can... Um, what, was I, what was I talking about? Yeah, you can just use it for dealing extra damage. Not really found a good use for our book at the moment here. Half a heart there, that'll fill our burn heart. But this is a good room for it. Actually, no it wasn't. I thought it'd kill these guys, but it didn't. So like, getting that guy out of the way for a, a little while while we deal with this enemy. Perfectly, perfectly acceptable usage there. Really, really nice. Hypno Ring is a very good. I think it's also luck based as well. So if we get good luck, we can, uh, we can get more of those going on. We have, we have a good amount to work with on this floor. Good amount to work with. Um, still deciding what I want to do with the sack room, because we've actually got a good amount of uh, soul hearts and stuff that I don't really want to throw away. <sighs> Damn it, I was really hoping I could get a second secret room there. I don't even know if it, I don't even know if second secret room is there, but I had the chance. See, that's that's the sort of room you're looking for with this thing. That was beautiful. Right, let's go in here. Just a little old pin. We don't mind pin. We don't mind pin at all. It's not too bad. I don't know why I opted to get so close to him there. I think I was trying to use my ball of bandages and forgot that he fired an explosive. Pin's such a weird boss, really, isn't he? The sleeping on this bit makes that attack super, super easy. Whirling Leech, dude, the HP right now is wild. Okay, so I think we do take that. We go and we take the Burn Heart. Wait, will it fill our Burn Heart first? I don't know. I don't think it will, will it? Right. Secret Rooms, fairly obviously here. No buttons? Sneaky. It says sneaky, so I'm having a feeling there's a button in here somewhere. There you go. A few buttons with some extra pennies. We could bomb into the shop here, but we don't really have enough money for it yet. Let's play our sack room. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. We've got a full health pill. Makes it better. Uh, I'll go grab this, this half red heart up here as well, actually. It's a little bit of back and forth here, but we don't mind. Gimme. That was a pretty good secret room, to be fair. Nice amount of money. It's always worth looking at the room name to see if there's some sort of secret way of completing the room or something. Because sometimes there is. We've got a sack room there, a uh, sack room, cash room there as well. Uh, one. We also get a lot of leeches out of this. Two. Three. Four. Pretty decent trinket. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten. Ah, we didn't we didn't unfortunately get what we were looking for with the soul hearts, but the money's still good. The money's still good. Ah, I really should have gone into the cash room before picking that up. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Grab that. Right, I might I might buy a red heart for filling up this burn heart in the shop. I've got a bomb to get into my shop here, so I think it's well worth doing so. I do have golden keys now as well, so I think I'll uh I'll crack this open. Um That'd destroy my burn heart to pick that up right now, so I'm not gonna do that yet. I don't know why I didn't use my golden key to get into the shop here. Why the hell did I just use a bomb? That was very silly. This is really silly. I realise this is not really worth the money. But... I don't know if, if it being gold has any bearing. And this is a worth, worthwhile bit of min-maxing, though. Not the most ideal of rooms, obviously. I'll use it as much as it'll let me. I mean, I might as well. Wow. Okay, one more time. Good, good. A little bit of freebies going on in there. Why not? Why not? Okay, everything's looking pretty good. As I said, I don't know if this, this trinket being gold really has any bearing. I don't know if that'll do anything. But, why not? Why not? We get a few freebie rooms here from my uh, spiders and leeches. It's kind of nice. Do you know what? Let's go down here because the leeches do a, a good bit of work down here. Why not? We can also destroy the mirror for some extra reflected items. I ought to mix match between paths a little more often. I take the regular path a bit too much. That was really stupid of me. And I lost my burn heart literally instantly. Yeah, the leeches have a lot more movement speed in water levels, which makes them very strong. Um, no thank you on you. Lost out on that card because of that bomb as well. Oopsie daisy. Lovely. Yeah, if I get a bomb, I'll probably crack that open for extra reflected item chances. I can get some pretty goddamn good stuff through reflected items, so I think it's worthwhile. Extra penny, nice. I ought to come to this floor more often anyways, because then we have the random item choice, which is just obviously good. I love the noise it makes as well, the Hedonist Cookbook. It's kind of spooky. I, I, the good thing about the leeches as well is they don't instantly die upon touching things like the uh, like they would if they were spiders. Oh, I thought you would be the one to die, not the fish guy. Oops. Bit of bad damage. Oh god damn! I got an email through and it was very loud. <laughs> oh hello! Wasn't expecting you either, good sir. I could be tempted by your fare. I could be tempted by your fare. Potentially, good sir. Potentially. The most ideal of results there. Really depends on the room design to how good Hedonist Cookbook is. On average, it's pretty goddamn good. It's the fact that it's a two-room charge. I think if it was a three-room charge, I wouldn't really care about it anywhere near as much. But when it's when it's a two room charge, while well, we've got all these leeches and stuff, we should go do the boss now. Really, I hate it when he does that. He just jumps straight into the water again. Get up here, coward! More HP. More HP. Right, let's go to our shop real quick. I mean, shop and item room, preferably. Yeah, that on-hit effect, I, I think with it being gold, it is doubled, that, uh, the chances. That on-hit effect is pretty good for just getting more leeches. We don't mind that at all. We do have an on-hit effect right now, so pretty decent.
If a leech kills a leech, it becomes a friendly leech. It's also good to know. Unfortunately, we did not get two keys, which is a bit of a shame. We got two things here, one of which I don't recognise. While in combat, spawn tears around you which Herman and nearby enemies. That's something new that I've not seen before. I'm interested in that. I don't know why it's a little air freshener, but... It's intriguing nonetheless. Secret room, we don't have a bomb for right now. We could do the mirror room, just to try and get some extra consumables. It's a little risky, but I think I'll do it. A little risky, but I think I'll do it. I'd, I'd like to get at least a bomb to bomb the mirror and potentially a key for the shop as well. And this is our only way to get on this floor. Oop, something wicked error. Um, air freshener's got an error, unfortunately. I am seeing the tears spawn. But they don't. Oh, there you go. It's Herming. It's Herming. It's a good card there. Can't remember what you do. Another good penny base trinket here. Kind of forgot you were there. Devil. Oh, there's a key. Devil, I don't really care about for right now. Just give us a bomb and we'll be on our way. The leeches are having a field there right now. It's beautiful. Let the leeches kill the leeches. As you can see, this room doesn't have water in it, so they're having a much harder time. Right. Go, fellas, go. Nah, that... I'll get him to come over here rather than me to go to them. Boop. One of us. One of us. Um... I don't need the knife piece, so I'm not going to take it. There's not much point. If I get a reroll on the later, later on this floor, I guess it could be good. Honestly, we're getting the on-hit effects a lot, so I think it is working. For a red heart there, nice. Oh, that's close. There's another key. Okay, no bombs yet, but a lot of keys. With all these leeches, I might even do the boss again, to be honest. Fortunately, not the best result there. So let's do the boss again. It's a little risky, I realise, but I think I'm okay for it. Especially considering I've got another Holy Mantle to pop if I need to. It's not often that you have that. It's killed all my leeches now. My leeches are gone. Really, he did that. Went straight back underground. It's annoying. There you go, the... Oh, we got Gummy Bear. Hell yes. Wasn't expecting that. That's like one of the rarest boss items you can get. Okay. We're feeling good here. We're feeling really good. Sadly, no bomb. <laughs> Didn't get any bombs, but we might be able to buy them from the shop technically, so... Speed is feeling a hell of a lot better now. Very worthwhile. Honestly, our health is just goddamn incredible right now. <laughs> health is wild how good it is. Alright, shop. We've come to purchase your many goods. Uh, ceiling with the stars. I'm not actually going to take it. Nah, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's one of those items that I'm always umming and ahhing about. Because it can give you some really bad stuff as wisps. But they are, they are wisps you can easily get rid of if you'd like to. So I don't worry that much about it. Let's go to the thingy boss. Let's uh, pop this. We've almost got full red heart HP already, which is wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Right, down we go. No bombs to go to the uh, mines, even if we wanted to, which is a shame. But we gain ourselves some sort of options, and then I don't know what the other one is. It's 
nice enough to deal with certain enemies. It would be nice to get some actual stats here. We've just got some stats in that all stats up, but to get some stat items like damage ups would be good. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't fully kill multi-phase enemies, as you can see. We do have, uh, we do have what's it called, um, jumper cables to get some more charges here and there, which is kind of nice. Bosses here. I'll just do the boss straight away, why not? Didn't kill the enemies I was hoping it was going to kill, but there you go. Yeah, this 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 tree item that's spawning these herming tears seems to not be spawning herming tears, and it just seems to be spawning tears. <laughs> Which is a little bit of a shame, but oh well. You don't get everything you want all the time. We got ourselves another HP up. Dude, our HP, it is wild. Upon fire, uh, first taking damage in a room, um, spawn a mini Reaper Familiar to attack enemies. Kind of interesting. Scapula, I doubt we're going to get much use out of, but thank you regardless. If I could hold two trinkets, that would be really nice. But otherwise, not for it. Right, still need to find the item room on this floor. What you can do as well is that there, where you, you save using it until later on in the room so that you kill all the low health enemies and then instantly kill the high health enemies straight away. So it's a good usage, good usage of the book. It doesn't always work on every room, but there's some rooms that it's really good for. Right, here's our starting room. A rooms like that is better to just kill the small enemies because there's just so many of them. Small rock, lovely. Speed is back down to where it was before, but I was saying we needed fire rate and damage, and the damage especially will go a long way. Especially cons considering now our leeches do extra damage. Good. Finally some bombs. Hot bombs. Made some bombs, but not ideal. Not ideal. Right, we know where the boss is. We fought the boss already. Shop isn't super intriguing to us right now, so let's uh, just try and make our way down to the boss if we can. Go this way, though. We've not been this way yet. Why not check it out? Ro the thing is, when, when you're clearing rooms pretty easily, it's not exactly a big sort of chore to go and... Uh, do some of the extra rooms. But th this might be the most health I've ever had by, like, red heart health I've ever had by this early in a game. We got adult transformation, followed by whirling leech, followed by brunch, followed by gummy bear, followed by cracker jacks. Uh, we got an eternal heart. It's just, just wild. Adult transformation. It's just wild. It's crazy. This is just so many, like, different health ups to gain on a character that like is kind of thematically built around it one second right let's continue pushing forward we got bombs and keys for this so why not utilize them here unfortunately this guy's gonna make his way back in oh no we got him we got him Yeah. Just got another bomb back. Fire dips in here. Cool. Okay, we're full on red health now. It's just nice to be able to insta-kill some rooms. There's a lot of rooms that are built off just a lot of one enemy. There's so many rooms that we can just insta-kill. Randomly smelted trinket. Could be devastating. Could be awesome. Could be a burn heart pair floor. 
I guess that's somewhat useful. First hat, very good. My book did nothing there. Apparently, it can't kill those guys. Ah, uh, we've put this guy to sleep now. Okay, no, you can wake him up good. Hey, extra damage. Very nice. We've lost all of our extra items now because I've just been walking into enemies. Not ideal. We'll try and refill our burn hat before we lose it here. That'd be good. We do need the extra keys. Don't leave them behind. This has been a sufficiently interesting min-maxed run. Ah, uh, fucking lost my burn heart. This is a kind of an awkward room. Yeah, I don't... Don't much like this as a room. You need to toss off, you big wanker. Fuck you. Get out my way. Rubik's Cube is potentially pretty good. I'll keep it for the floor and see if I solve it. If I solve it by the end of the floor, I'll keep it. If not... I'll keep my book. Because, yeah, if we can solve it, this thing's very good. But it could take up to 20 attempts, and we ain't getting 20 attempts on this floor. Heh. <laughs> he tried shooting off and just went to sleep. Slightly inconvenient positioning, though. No solve. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky and just solve it on the first go. Just gonna drop a red key when I kill you? Yes, it is. See? You see that green tier then? It did hurt him. Kind of. <laughs> it tried. It certainly tried. Extra speed. I'm honestly willing to pay for it for just the speed. I forgot to do my Eden's Blessing at the start of this run. Need to remember to do that. Right, come on, cube. You know you can solve. Forgot you guys teleported. Come on, cube. Don't be like this with me. That's not a secret room. God damn. That looked primed and ready to be a secret room. That did. Primed and ready. That's another burn heart. Thank you. We all good? No. The spooky boys after us. Can we just drop the hand? The fuck's taking so long? Ah, uh, looks like we're not going to solve here, which is a real shame. We've only got one more attempt. Exactly what are you doing? What's your plan, my guy? Bunch of extra bombs. Okay. I don't know. Do we keep the Rubik's Cube? I think it's more interesting. I think I am going to keep it, you know. I think regardless, I'm going to keep it. I think it's more interesting. But there's not many items left, though. Oh, well. I'm just going to keep it anyways. It's, it's more fun, I think. More fun than an item that just insta-kills some rooms. <laughs> Even though that is slightly more convenient. On a run where we don't have to really worry about losing, or at least too heavily worry about losing, I think playing for fun is more, more the way to go. He's going to drop his spiders in a minute. Oh, well that did a ton of damage to him. Ooh, there you go, pentagram, lovely. Right, down we go. We are feeling good.
We've got some teeth shots in there. We've got, must have tough love. Yeah, we've got tough love. I'm hoping we can get a solve on our Rubik's Cube before our item room uh, this floor, so that in case we have anything bad, we can try and get something good out of it. Because the Rubik's Cube, it rerolls into any item room pool. It's like a chaos reroll. Which makes it potentially pretty goddamn good. More tears. Lovely. See, rooms like this would be glorious to just be able to pop up a hedonist cookbook and insta-kill some of these folk, but we have given up that privilege. This yellow guy is kind of interesting looking. Did I just walk into a... I lost my burn heart because I just walked into one of the burn fragments. Slightly sad. Still no soul. My god. Bit of shot speed. To... Oh! Is that twice now I've taken damage to fucking burn fragments, man? I can't see them. Just took a load of damage to these burn fragments. For no goddamn good reason. That is well annoying. Oh man, I am taking some fat L's right now. <laughs> Angel deal. We will never see you again. Apologize, Angel Deal. I tried my very best. I mean, I'll open this just so we have it open for later. In case we need that soul heart. But right now, it doesn't mean anything to us. Lost our teeth shot, I think. Yep, we did. Not that we need it, but it's nice to have. It's nice having jumper cables. We're able to hit 20 on the poles a bit quicker. We must be getting close now. I think we've used it about 15 times already. So we've got going on in here. I'll take that. Lost contact for some protection. Can be a little inconvenient. Um, in some boss fights, but overall, it's obviously a pretty good item. Stop going invisible, fellas. I do you like the fact that I can put them to sleep? Dude, how is it not solved yet? Wow. I'll take a war ball for the rest of this floor. Extra one fire it. Nothing to turn our nose up at. Easy enough. Cheers. <laughs> hey, finally. We solved it. Not going to get to use it much, granted, but... We solved it. I guess I'll use it in my shop and just see if it's worth trying to scrounge for the money. It's not. Because I'm obviously not going to end up using it in here. I've not got Boss Rush to reroll either. I didn't even realise the, um, the, the trinket that we got smelted to us is a golden version of the hollow burn heart thing. So that would be two burn hearts a floor. That would be really good if we are all needed that. Going negative. Okay, our damage is sitting sitting at a reasonably decent position right now. And we did get an XL floor. Lovely. That makes our life easier. So we've got some sulfuric acid tears in here, maybe? Don't know what... Uh, maybe, no, I think it's just number one, actually, because that tier rate's really high. Good, good. center out of this, I think. No, it's Yum Heart. It's a guppy item now. I guess we can keep re-rolling that to get something pretty good. Imagine if we get full guppy off of just keeping re-rolling that. Yeah, I'm full red hearts now. 
I knew we'd get there. Careful of this thing, sputing out babies. Left, right, and centre. Back once again for another reroll. No, 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 no. Bob's heart. How dare you even discuss the idea of giving me something so trash? Don't want no Bob trash. I reflect your tears, you reflect mine. Fair enough. Fair's fair. Oh, I never end I never end up doing my um my ferryman. I'll be honest, I completely forgot. Interesting little room here. Tree guys aren't too bad though. Never really had a problem. And next time we get another book. We did gain a curse out of that, out of picking that book up, so I might have accidentally gained a really bad curse. I turned this way because I thought this was the wrong way, and now I'm starting to think this might be the right way. <laughs> the other way was the wrong way all along. Taken care of. Ah, I did this room without needing to. I'm going to bomb out just to save the charge. Yeah, I might have ended up making a curse of the blind here. So you can see, I can see the question mark, and I can still see my health. And I can still see the map, so yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we just have to take it. Not a bad item though. Not a not an awful item. A little bit miffed about that though. Picked up a book that ended up ruining my chances. Ooh, hello. I'll take another heart container. Why not? Probably should have just kept with a burn hearts, but oh well. I love the fact that the, the uh, fire bombs deal contact damage as well. That's so nice. I'm going to place a few of those around. I'm not this room's great for charges. Got plenty out of that. Bit of a shame indeed. Yeah, I'm almost certain this is the right way now. Let's keep going. Yeah, it was. I was led astray. Nice. You guys are all getting stuck. Lovely. Oh, goddamn. Wasn't expecting that. Of course, we've got two bosses here as well. Forgot about that. We can reroll this item to our heart's content as well. I'll see if that rocks a pair for her first. It might be. We don't know what we're getting, so it doesn't matter. Ah, we got a good item anyways. Lovely bit of extra damage. I'd say that 11 damage is fine for this late into the game. It's not great by any means, but it's fine. Surprised I didn't do more damage. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Let's spawn a boss here. I don't know why sometimes he just spawns a boss. Sometimes Mum's heart is like super chill. Other times she's like, hey, here's a fucking boss. Would you like a boss with your boss? At least she fucked off for a little while while we fought it. Oh, we might have slept through at the perfect time, damn it. I thought we slept through at the perfect time to skip this phase, but unfortunately not quite. I've got a lot better at that phase now. Used to kind of suck at it, but it's not too bad. Dark path we go. No! I literally said dark path we go. I'm so stupid. One minute, I can correct this. Um, stage. Stage. Um, is it eight? No, nine. Ten? Ten. My bad. <laughs> I literally said it and still went the wrong way. Ah, 
<gasps> I've technically cheated the. I've gained two more uh, Lemmageddon Wisps than I was supposed to. Shit, Matt. Shit, people. What are you going to do? You can crucify me now. Yeah, these guys are trivial when you have uh, lost contact. Good A. Hey, filling up our red hearts. Good, good, good. Yeah, I didn't really get to play on the Angel deal and stuff this run. It might be, might be why our like, stats are a little bit weaker than average. We just didn't really get a lot going when it came to Angel deals and stuff. These enemies are well annoying. Quite a lot of HP and they're taking a good beating. That's kind of cool. Using a pill spawns two to four friendly dips. Don't mind that. You managed to escape that barrage, you fool. How dare you. Ooh. I should have looked at what that was. Don't know why I got a ghost bomb there. Chariot. It's decent. Oh, I must be one of the the Lemmigate and Wisp I've got. I must have the Haunted Rose or whatever it's called. I think that's what it is. Haunted Rose. You little tyke, because you see him just absolutely whip that bomb towards me then. Also, all of this the wrong way. Thanks, game. What exactly is it this pill does? Uh, this pill, this card... Um, invincible but cannot move. Okay. I mean, I'm invincible, so that's good enough for me. Oh, can I go the right way for one time, please? I'm not going to go the right way. At least give me some hearts. Dude, you fucking yeeted yourself there. Oh, I lost so much of stats because I bombed my own Lemmigate and Wisp. Okay, there's the heart I was looking for. Why are you still... Do I have to kill you? Okay, sometimes I have to kill though, sometimes I don't. Weird. Good sword play, good sir. More ghosties coming in. Okay, do I want to use my chariot card here or on the lamb? Probably uh, on the lamb, to be honest. I do find this guy a little bit harder, but with my... Um, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, with my little my little friends here, probably not going to be a problem. Yeah, didn't think so. Good, good. Right, we do have some hearts to trade here. I'd be willing to go for a decent item if one is presented to me. Um, I think I'll take that, and I think I'll take that. Other two I'll re-roll. We'll keep re-rolling those as we come back and see if we get anything better. Go okay, you cowards. I think we've got Peppermint as one of our items here. We do. It's good to have Peppermint along for the ride here. Should easily get a few charges in this room. Unfortunately, this is a double room anyway, so we're going to get a full charge off of it. I, I meant from the spiders and... Uh, spiders and stuff, but there you go. Right. I'll give myself a rubber baby. Nothing much there. It's not worth spending a ton of time once we're far away, but while we're close... Easy kill on this guy. I say easy, and then he fucking turns himself invincible. Why you gotta do this, boy? Always hits me, doesn't he? I got a little brimstone from somewhere as well. Another let me get him wisp edition. 
Oh, fucking really? Let me fight this guy again. I hate this boss. So bad at dodging that attack, and then he just goes invincible too much. You just... Why you gotta dodge my bomb? Why you gonna be like this? Get out of here, Sonny. Be alright if he still dropped an item or a soul heart, but he doesn't. <laughs> it's only in his official room that he does that. Lost all our lemma getting with. Apart from Peppermint, we've still got Peppermint, which is nice. That's kind of nice. Extra damage per enemy in the room. We lost Peppermint, finally. That animation slow motion looks so good for those enemies. Keep going until we find the boss. Unfortunately, the boss seems to be goddamn miles away. It's going to be a bit of a long ride. Just die already, fool. I don't need your keys or anything anymore either. I think this is the right way. I'm gonna hurt. With this chariot card, there should be a breeze, but I'm still worried. <laughs> I'm always still worried on this streak. My last thing. On pickup replaces all soul hearts and black hearts. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be bad. Okay, we're back to moving again. But that, that card did a mighty good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yet another good win. We'll leave it off there. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.